just about. Hi, everybody. I am uh, Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com, and I am here with Inga Yushenko from Lviv, I can never pronounce that, Ukraine. And uh, we found uh, Inga with, uh, through a contest we ran uh, for Halloween, and uh, she does some really amazing designs. So I think you're gonna be excited to hear this. So she's gonna be doing a fantasy tiger, which is, um, you can never go wrong with the tigers. Hold up the mask that you were showing me earlier. This was a great mask. Um, so this is, uh, uh, she did that in five, count them five minutes. So that's amazing. And she did that with a crazy split cake, but just amazing. And uh, we have Natalia, who will be the model today. And she is a guitar player and a singer and does a mean job, a, a good job of uh, Bob Dylan's blowing in the wind, which I saw earlier. So, um, uh, so we do, um, I'm going to start this thing now. I'm going to have a coupon code running for the next day on facepaint.com for everything. And it's 10% off and it's called Tiger 10. So if you want to buy something, uh, this is the time. Okay. With that, I think uh, I will turn it over to Inga. So uh, hello guys. I am really excited. Uh, and uh, my name is Inga. I am from Lviv, Ukraine. I am face painter body painter, henna artist, and my face painting conception is seed plus wow effect. So today I will create fancy tiger designs and I hope you will like it. So I hope your practice boards, uh, your face painting kids, brushes, sponges are ready and you will paint with us and have fun. So till you're doing your preparations, I want to show you my references which I prepared for our class. I will show you closer. So here we have a classical tiger design. And uh, here we have some elements of uh, fantasy design. So what is the difference? Uh, or with a classical tiger, uh, we're using some uh, yellow color, some orange colors, some uh, tiger lines. And here we some, have some makeup elements. And uh, also when we're collecting references, we're choosing different uh, variations. So here we have half of face with the leopard lines. And here we have also amazing design with the black lipstick. So it also can be fantasy. But the best fantasy variation is when we have uh, one strokes, like I did on a mask. So here, Actually, it's a fantasy variation of the tiger when we're using different colors. And uh, today, actually, I hope we will have a fantasy design. So let's start. First, what we are doing, we activating our regular colors. I have uh, amazing palette from Crazy Fix. So actually, I activating my white and the black one. When we activating our colors, very important is uh, cons consistency. So the white one should be like a melted ice cream and the black one should be inky. So remember, <laughs> when we are activating our colors, that uh, a white one should be like a melted ice cream. It should be like a cream source, very creamy. And when we are activating black, we just adding with a spray water, more water. And uh, we're doing like um, ink, like in ancient times people were using ink. So when uh, our regular colors are activated, I applying my uh, white in a half moon sponge. I think it's a tag or via text half moon sponge. So I'm slowly, slowly I applying my white. And I hope Natalie is ready. Yes. <laughs> and uh, now uh, we applying our activated uh, regular white 
with our half moon sponge to the whispers area of our model. Slowly, slowly, we're going up to the bridge of the nose and the forehead area. Yeah, also feel free to, guys to ask any questions and I'll pass them on. Yes, if you have uh, some questions, you can ask me. And I hope I will answer and share my experience with you. So uh, the pigmentation of Crazy Fix White is really, really good. I like this white color. And after whiskers area is ready, I applying to the inner corner of the eye and going up and the same doing from another side. So close your eyes. If you are working with the children, you should be very, very careful with this area. And actually, if I'm working with the small children, I am uh, avoid uh, this area. Because, you know, sometimes children not ready to sit so calm like Natalie sitting. So better we will have, uh, uh, we will uh, do another moves, but design will be better without eye area. I doing like this only with the small children, with the teenagers I can apply on the eye area. So here is our base. And now it's time to download uh, my uh, flat brush with the least cake palette and uh, I will do here I will do like a petal of the flower so guys if you have uh, some questions if you want to say hi if somebody from my friends or my followers or maybe from my students are with us please give me feedback yeah, well, we got um, uh, Marina's happy because this is early uh, because uh, Marina not in the United States. So this is obviously being filled to uh, early to accommodate the Ukrainian schedule. But we have people from Maryland. Uh, I know Beth from uh, Chicago. So um, or outside of Chicago. So we have a international group here. Wow, well, I'm so excited. So uh, now I'm loading my rainbow cake. For this I'm using my uh, angle brush. I think it's number 12 and it's a tag. And uh, here I will do a petal like a lotus flower petal. Slowly I'm going from up to uh, area of ice. When we're doing one stroke, we don't need so much water in our palette. Actually, I really like this Crazy Tix uh, palette because uh, uh, colors are very with a good pigmentation and uh, I don't have uh, to load my brushes very long time. So it's very good for fast one stroke and the designs like I will do today. Yes, and I also recommend you if you are doing uh, many colors, if it's a fantasy design where we are uh, applying many different colors like a, a rainbow and we mixing with uh, some uh, pink colors and the green, we just have a different brush for every color. You don't need to wash off uh, and rinse your um, brush uh, so often and it will save your time. And if you are working on a big event where your speed is very important, so uh, this life hack uh, is really, really cool if you are working and you need to save time. Also, when you are working on a big events uh, or uh, body painting competitions, it's also very important to have a uh, um, single uh, brush for every color. So if here we have uh, two regular colors and uh, 10 uh, split cakes. 
I really recommend you to have um, uh, 10 uh, angle colors for each uh, split cake and uh, two for uh, uh, this uh, regular colors. So now I will apply some pink. Well, we got Johannesburg also, West Virginia and Belgium. So we have, like I said, a lot of people. Nice, nice to hear. Can so, you move uh, um, maybe, uh, Natalia, a little bit to the right? So yeah, well, no, so much, because yeah. So here I, I think I will do some uh, blue color and uh -huh. I will also load uh, another angle brush. It's a Ukrainian brand, but you also can use a tag uh, flat uh, corner brush. Actually, when you're working with the uh, one stroke technique, you can be very, very fast and very creative because uh, you don't have to mix colors. You don't have to create oven split cakes. Split cakes are ready. And you, all that you need just to load uh, properly consistency to your brush and uh, work and enjoy. Enjoy the process. So I'm doing foundation with the angle brush. Of course, I can do some sponging, but uh, when I'm working with the one stroke technique, I prefer to use angle brushes. Panama as well. Dear Lord, the UK. Everybody's from somewhere, I guess. Oh. I still have it. Oh, yeah. For those that are watching and want to see Bob Dylan, here you go. So now I will add uh, my activated white color to the area of the neck because it will be big tiger design. And on the delta zone, I think I will create some cluster from tropical flowers because, you know, tigers, they often go into jungle. And we as an artist, we also going to jungle. We are looking for inspiration in a worldwide web jungle. We are watching some movies, we creating some references. So we are like tigers and we are trying to use our fantasy in our designs. So Lisa asked if you could move the camera a little bit so that the uh, Natalia is in the middle of the picture. Mm, I will try. Yeah, like that. No, no. Yes, like that. That's uh, better. Now better? Yeah. Yeah, so now I will, uh, I will create a cluster with the tropical flowers. For this, I will again back to our crazy fix palette. And I will load uh, some uh, colors. This reminds me of tropical flower hibiscus. So when the tiger is going to jungle, there are many, many tropical flowers. So with the one stroke technique, it's uh, very, very cool to create uh, flowers and the uh, leaves. And you can do it very, very fast. I hope you can see it. Mm -hmm. But maybe, I don't know how to, yes, like this. Mm -hmm. So. Here is just the base, and after uh, I will add some details to our hibiscus flowers, and I think I will also use some monstera leaves. So my inspiration is a tiger who are going hunting in the jungle, and uh, when the tiger going to jungle, our tigers see many, many different beautiful things like the flowers and leaves. So. When flowers are ready, it's time to monstera leaves. And I will load uh, green split cake. Here is mm -hmm. very, very good green color. 
I adding some water uh, with my uh, bottle. Is spray. this this is regular white or metallic? White. Mm, I think uh, it's regular. Yeah, it's regular. If you're using the craze palette, then it's regular. Yes. Actually, I, I prefer a regular color because uh, after I will add glitters. And uh, if I will add too much uh, uh, bright accents, it can uh, not look uh, very good. Mm -hmm. When you're working with the uh, regular colors, it's much better. But uh, if you're not using glitter and if you're working with the small children, I think uh, both variations are very good. So now we will back to our cluster and I will add some leaves. Yes. Very good pigmentation. I don't have to download my brush too often. So, Blake, maybe some questions in chat. Oh, sure. Well, uh, Beck says the loving the cal the colors so far, and um, I think everybody's just uh, taking it all in. Not a lot of questions so far, but feel free to ask, guys. Or maybe they're watching uh, Natalia's video. You can, it's hard to tell. Oh, it's very good. It's a great design. So now I will continue with the strokes. And I will add some blue. It's like a color of, uh, of the sky. Outside, we're going to the jungle and watching the blue sky. So, you know, you can find inspiration everywhere. You can find inspiration in the video game. You can find inspiration in the nature. You can find your inspiration in the music. And uh, why I like one stroke technique so much, because uh, if you don't, uh, uh, don't know how to create um, something really creative or something crazy, just use uh, glitters and one stroke and definitely your design will look very interesting. Hmm. And you can be very confident with your strokes if you are practice. So if you don't have opportunity to work day by day and uh, practice your skills, I uh, recommend you to practice on the practice boards or mm -hmm. practice pads. Because uh, you know, when um, we are working with the one stroke technique, very important is uh, consistency of uh, our colors. Uh, Sagitha asked, uh, for the tropical flower, what color and what brush are you using? Yeah, thank you for your question. I'm using uh, uh, Crazy Fix palette. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know the names of the colors, but- uh, The green one. Yeah. one, yes. I will uh, give my own name. It's a tropical leaf green. <laughs> and uh, here is uh, like, um, uh, actually, I don't know which color it's uh, uh, red, orange, yellow. Yeah, I know. White and yellow and uh, pink also. Yes, and purple. And the angle brush uh, tag, I think it's a uh, number 12. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So I'm waiting for more questions. Hola, Maria. Hello, hello everybody. Stay tuned. So uh, now I will uh, load again my brush with the pink, and uh, I think uh, I will add uh, some pink flowers near our hibiscus. Uh, Marina, Marina, Mar Marina asks when you are doing face in decotage design, you know the top half of the chest do you have um do you have steps 
what you're doing first or you just paint and start filling in the design? Uh, thank you for the question, Marina. First of all, I applying to the whiskers area and the eye area after I going to the forehead and after I doing some details around the eyes. If I'm working with the small children, I'm not applying uh, white colors uh, to the eye zone and uh, I'm trying to avoid this zone and this zone actually without foundation. So uh, first step is the foundation in the whiskers area. If we are doing target, after I going uh, to the area of our eyes, forehead, uh, outlining with the cheekbones and uh, here I don't know, I will add some lipstick or some piece. I will, I will think and uh, add it later. I hope uh, uh, your question, um, I answered your question and if not, please ask again. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, so hello from Mexico. Add some lipstick and back to our flowers. Maybe now it's uh, not look so so bright how it should be, but so when I will add uh, line work, believe me, it will look a little bit different. So which is your favorite tropical flower? <laughs> Write me. <laughs> My favorite flower is hibiscus because it's a, a favorite fl uh, flower of the uh, uh, many Indian demigods. Sometimes I'm taking my inspiration in the legends. So hibiscus is very special flower. Mm -hmm. uh, we can add this flower to tea also. And uh, it looks very, very nice when we're doing some designs. So now I think a very important part I usually I recommend you if you are working with the model or doesn't matter if you're working on some event, a uh, very, very good recommendation is uh, stand up and uh, move back from your model. Why are you doing this? Because uh, when you're sitting, especially when you're working from the sitting position, you will see your design very, very close. And when you're doing some steps back, you see the full view, but believe me, doesn't matter if it's uh, children or it's models, you're working on a birthday party or you're taking part in a body painting competition, very, very few people will see your design very close. So it makes sense uh, to stand up and to move some steps back. Please mm -hmm. do it and you will really see the difference. And uh, actually, if you're working with the canvas, I also recommend to do like this. And now I a little bit move it back. I don't want to, to go because uh, I am online. But if I will do it uh, on some event, I will definitely move back. So now I see that here is empty space and uh, here will be very good zone for the leaves. Actually, you know, I like uh, and I chose this topic because uh, Tiger is a very good uh, chance to create something new, even if uh, uh, you are uh, trying to paint uh, not a tiger party or a tiger design. Because, um, for example, if we have some sports competition and the sports team uh, has some colors on their flag, you can do tiger in a flag of this team, and it will be also very interesting. Or mm -hmm. maybe when we have an uh, event, there are many boys and girls, and uh, you're not uh, uh, so much uh, confident with your girls and boys designs. You can do blue tiger for boys and pink colors for girls, and everybody be, will be happy, believe me. So Tiger, it's a very, very good uh, base for creativity. Here in Ukraine, when we're creating some Tigers with the different colors, uh, we're calling these Tigers American Tigers. I don't know why. 
Why do you call them American tigers? I don't know. Usually, when uh, when I uh, doing some uh, rainbow tiger, like here I have rainbow. So this design in uh, uh, my uh, references uh, called mm. uh, uh, rainbow tiger or pink tiger. Or uh, for uh, Valentine Day, it's a Valentine because here I can do the shape of the heart. Maybe I will do like beginning here, maybe some shape of the heart. So if I will add uh, some heart here, it will be Valentine. So usually when kids coming and watching my references, they tell me, oh, please, I want this American tiger. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, it's really funny. And I don't know why it is so. <laughs> Marina really likes how you had the, the blue one stroke is really framing the whole design. Yeah, thank you, Marina. And you know, I really, really, then I practice it. And then I did uh, uh, my practice before the webinar. I found this uh, blue outlining and really like this uh, reference to the sky. It uh, looks like uh, some Chinese tattoo also. So I, I love it. Yes, thank you. You can also add uh, uh, your to your design this move, this light hack. And I hope it also looks bright. Yes, so. So I think foundation is almost ready. And now I will work with the details. And I will add some uh, tiger strokes, tiger lines. When we are doing tiger lines, it's very important to have a good thin brush. I'm using thin brushes from Loe Corno from zero to number three numbers. Mm -hmm. But see, when I go to toilet from Crazy Tips, I found there very good uh, brushes, one round and one flat brush. Mm -hmm. So they are also very good for, for this. So if you will uh, buy palettes, there will be two brushes and they uh, also will be very good for uh, tiger lines. So uh, when we are adding tiger lines, very important is uh, uh, ink consistency. It's uh, like a consistency of ink, like uh, in old times, uh, pen with the ink inside. Mm -hmm. So remember this and uh, Black should be always like this. If uh, our brush is too wet, we just roll in our brush and uh, trying to get rid of uh, wetness. So now I will add some strokes. I will I will do tiger nose. I think better mm -hmm. if tiger nose will be. It's a girl tiger, so it will be good if uh, our nose nose will be pink. <laughs> So I will do like a shape of the heart. And after I will add the tiger strokes. Yes. So now when our black is ready, in the end of the nose, I paint in small triangle. And here is very important move. I will uh, just do like this and dot dot and here will be bigger triangle yes now i'm loading again my brush uh, number two left corner and here i will go down and up and i will go down and up So this first area is ready. And uh, now I will add some uh, black to our nose. Mm -hmm. If you want to, to create male design, you can do a nose a little bit bigger. But for Natalia, shape of the nose, I don't think it's a good solution. So now I will add uh, some tiger lines. And I hope you will see how I'm doing this. So first I am uh, adding, uh, I'm doing small line, press, and again, thin line. From thin, pressing, rolling, and again going to thin. 
And here I will do symmetry. I will again press row and go up with the same. And here the same. Actually, if you know focal point theory, all the strokes, all the lines, and they should uh, go to the one point when is the inner corner of our eyes. So here we uh, add, uh, here our tiger lines uh, will end. Mm -hmm. Hey, Zuri. Yeah, so I will do some tiger lines. The tiger is not tiger without tiger lines. Actually, if you're not so confident in your tiger lines, you can practice before uh, on your hand, maybe your practice board, because it's a basic design, one of the basic designs, a tiger and the tiger stroke tiger lines. So practice, 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 till you will not be so confident in your moves. And uh, after you will be confident you can paint on your children, on your relatives. And uh, my teacher told me if you're doing something uh, three hours a day uh, during five years, you will become professional. So, so how much did you have to practice? Uh, excuse me? How much, how much did you have to practice when you started out? Uh, actually, I practiced uh, last nine years and I have uh, five years of active uh, painting. Mm -hmm. After five years, I'm feeling more confident and uh, also very, very, uh, I recommend you very much to take part in uh, competitions. Doesn't matter it's uh, contests uh, online or you are going some uh, competitions in your city, in your county, international competitions, you will uh, learn uh, uh, speed technique mm -hmm. when you're in a competition you have no option because uh, for such design in a competition i will have uh, only two hours so hmm. yeah nowadays i can do much uh, faster than <laughs> they, uh, they want from me so. it's a great looking design zuri loves the colors oh thank you very much thank you very much it's nice to hear that somebody likes my creation. So now I again move back and I see that I should go on the forehead zone and continue with the my tiger lines. Actually, when you are confident with the tiger lines, you can paint uh, also in your own face. You can, uh, when you have some party with the tigers, you can add some designs uh, near your eye like I did. It will give some positive vibes to your clients. It will give some tiger mood. So here also it's very important when I'm doing uh, some strokes on the forehead. It's important to remember the focal point theory because uh, here I will I will uh, show this point. Mm -hmm. So our lines they will go to the one point. If tiger is uh, angry, we will do some more, more black. But I think Natalie is not angry tiger. <laughs> no, she looks pretty pleasant. Uh, Kavita thinks it's beautiful. Zuri, you're inspiring her to do something like this. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I think uh, maybe if you will like, after we will have some fancy tiger challenge, <laughs> I will be happy if you will practice this design on a practice boards or maybe on the models. And uh, we will see, we will have fun together. So here I will again add some tiger lines. And uh, when our tiger lines are ready, I think it's time to add the guns to our cluster, to our flowers. So when we are painting flowers, I'm also uh, using line work technique. 
And I will just remember how the book just looks in the picture and just do outline. Actually, my inspiration is graphics, it's uh, uh, paintings of uh, 60s and 70s. I don't like so much uh, realistic art, I like uh, psychedelic art. Mm -hmm. So, why I'm adding a lot of black details, outlining. I hope you see what I'm doing. Yeah, I notice you're wearing gloves. Do you always wear gloves? Uh, what? Do you wear gloves when you paint? Mm, not often. Uh, I'm using uh, sometimes with the children, but uh, with the adults, I trying to be confident and not do mistakes, but sometimes, yes, I'm doing. Hmm. No, no, but you're wearing gloves on your hands. I'm sorry. Oh, gloves. Yes, I'm. Uh, sometimes I uh, wearing because uh, I uh, do, I like to be neat and clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, sometimes you are adding some glitter and. Uh, when you add in glitter, glitter is everywhere. So it's uh, later I will add. And uh, when you are uh, on a big gig, when you're painting models and your hands and the glitters, I don't like this. So that's why usually I'm working in the gloves. Mm. Yeah. So now I will also doing line work, adding some petals. Yeah, so. Maybe some questions? No, not so far. I think a lot of people are going to watch this after we post it um, live because it's it's um, it's a little early in the United States. Most people have day jobs. Okay. So when I'm uh, doing outlining, I'm also using uh, it's like a double dip technique, but I'm not loading uh, two colors. I'm loading only black, but uh, uh, my brush moves like in a double dip uh, technique. Yeah, so now you see that it's like a graphics. Mm -hmm. yes. So now I think it's time to use uh, my <laughs> stencils. So stenciling. Then usually when you are using stenciling, it's uh, <laughs> Marina yeah. asked, uh, said um, after a big gig, her hands looks like uh, she spent time playing in the garden. Oh, yes, I can play in the garden. Why not? <laughs> it's uh, very good. So I think inspiration is uh, already reconnected to the I think she's what she's talking about is if 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 her her hands look like a mess too. That's why she she thinks it's a good idea to wear gloves. Uh, yeah, it also makes sense. So here's a very interesting part of our class because uh, I'm uh, using not only uh, this uh, stencils uh, from Vamps or uh, usual stencils. I'm using Callum Carey stamps. I don't know you see or not. It's a uh, wooden stamps from India. Mm -hmm. uh, when I traveled to Jungle, where I met Tiger first time in my life, I understood that there are very, very interesting ancient technique. Uh, the name of this technique is Kalimkari. So I will do, I, I load uh, my black on the Kalimkari stamps. And now I, I will just do stamp and uh, here will be flowers. So mm -hmm. when you're doing uh, stenciling, doesn't matter if it's a calendary stamps or a traditional, uh, the consistency of our paint should be like a glue, like a glue for a craft, like a glue for a paper. So here I will also add some calendary mm -hmm. so it's much better. So so I uh, Remind for myself also that consistency should be like blue, and the black uh, prefix really good for this. So here I will again add some flowers. Yes. 
so this technique uh, ancient uh, Indian painters they used for henna and uh, I as a henna artist I inquired from this technique and I often using this when I paint with my flowers and uh, on a body painting competition also it's very important is our time mm -hmm. so here is also uh, some kalamkari with a flower and I think I will do the forehead Long to discuss. Definitely, it's ready. After doing this, to discuss in forehead. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you will like it. And if you don't have uh, calendary scents, you can add uh, stencil. And uh, actually, when we painting tigers, uh, I adding this uh, stencil. It's a uh, reptile, but uh, when we are painting some animals, some leopard, shatters, or tigers, when we are using our fantasy, it's also very good. It's mm -hmm. magic. So now I'm, I download uh, my uh, half moon sponge with a black color. Maybe I will add uh, here because here I will do some bead powder strokes in the end. Which stencil are you using? It's a BAMS stencil, a number uh, of 1004. I okay. think it's fine. I don't think it's the name. You can use sponge or you can use dauber. And uh, also, uh, if you want to have some effect, uh, some uh, highlight effect. You also can use uh, white after you're using your black color. Mm -hmm. uh, doing stenciling with the white. It also can give some good effect. Yeah. So now I will continue with the line work. I'm loading my number one left on the brush with the razor face black. And I continue with the, my leaves, with the small details here. And petals, and tails. Can't really see what you're painting there, but I think I know what you're doing. Okay. Maybe I will go to shoulders to look to that. Okay. Yeah, so here I do. I'm just pressing my number one work on the brush. And I'm just doing some spills. Draw. Uh, Marina asks Do you pay attention to the symmetry of the design when you're painting? Uh, not so, not often. Sometimes uh, when I'm going to fancy design, it's not so much important for me. But uh, when it's a competition uh, and uh, it's um, some designs which need symmetry, so yes, but uh, usually I'm working with the assistant on the competition. So I think uh, it's uh, teamwork. Mm. So here I will add some details and leaves. The dogs. Actually, next zone and build to zone. You don't have to add so much details. 
what I really like of lining, I'm trying to add all the details. Mm. Yes, because I'm when I, you're working with a henna and uh, you're a henna artist, so you're accustomed to many details in the design. And when you do body painting, do you do airbrush as well or just do with your brushes? I think both. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to mix techniques. Okay. Usually I'm doing foundation with the airbrush and mm -hmm. adding line work with the brush. So when I'm taking part in the competitions, I am uh, working in a brush and sponge category, but uh, when I um, took part in a face paint foam competition, I mixed uh, many techniques. Makeup technique, uh, brush technique, and uh, brush and sponge also. Okay. It's very interesting when you're mixing colors, when you're mixing techniques. Because, uh, you know, when you're doing the same work many years, day by day, it can be boring, but when you are trying to create some new techniques and you're trying to mix uh, some different styles, it's interesting. It opens your creativity. It can uh, give you space for inspiration. Usually people asking me, where are you taking inspiration? Believe me, inspiration is everywhere. Yeah. And uh, very important is the uh, choice of the model. So I choose it Natalie because just uh, see on her uh, face, she reminds me a little tiger. And Natalie, uh, she is uh, also a big cat lover. She has an amazing cat. So when a model is a cat lover, it's definitely 90% that uh, tiger or cat design will look also in this face. And also uh, shape of the eyes is very important. Mm -hmm. so cat eyes. Then I will do outlining and uh, line work over the eye area. You will know what I mean. Yeah, I see what you mean. Now I will add some wheels and doors in another shoulder. So just remember, if you're not confident in the line board, in the tiger lines, in the wheels and doors, just practice. You have so amazing practice uh, boards board, so here we unfortunately don't have a practice board. I don't know why. I doing by myself practice boards. <laughs> yeah. So in a face paint form, you can find professional materials and practice boards and uh, practice, practice, practice. Work, work, work every day. Practice is true. Yes. Inspiration to paint, that kind of thing. And so now I will add also some wheels and doors. And those will be open. Yeah, so I'm moving back a little bit. So mm -hmm. if I'm moving back, it even reminds me of some old tattoo style, like a Japanese tattoo. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I did not uh, have this in my uh, mind, but sometimes you know you have some some uh, uh, very strange variations which are going from your mind, and you did not expect to see them. So now, Natalie, uh, I ask you to look up because I will work uh, with the area under the eyes. Can't quite see that. Sorry, thank you. So now very, very important part. I will do outlining of our eyes. For this part of work, I will use crazy tricks 
round brush. There is no number, but I think it's zero or one. It can be any brush from mm -hmm. zero to number three. So I just doing some drops in the in the inner corner of my face. Slowly, slowly. It's like a makeup technique. If we are painting uh, on a small child, I not recommend you to do outline like this. You should go like this. Mm -hmm. So small, small children, they're not sitting nicely. Hmm. Less That's time. Interesting. So better to do like this. And also practice this move on a practice board. Here I can uh, do anything what I want. Natalie is very calm and very good model. Yeah, so, but when you're painting uh, with the children, be very, very careful with the eye area, with the water line of the eye. So, also we add some drops here. We are bridge of the nose. Like so, just open your eyes. Okay, and now I will ask Natalie to look up. And here I will do some outlining because I like uh, cartoon effect. I like to do eyes of the tiger bigger. And our tiger will look like the tiger from when we are working with the children, it's also very fun. And uh, actually, face painting is uh, also a performance. We take some mood, we're giving some positive vibes. So, believe me, when you are doing this outlining, it's uh, very, very cool to do bigger eyes. Children love bigger eyes. And I also love it. Yep. No, it's great. I just doing some line work with a crazy pink, strong pink brush. Mm -hmm. uh, just to give you a warning, you got about seven minutes. Please repeat. You have about seven minutes left. Okay, so I will add some pigments. In the eye area. Mm -hmm. And uh, just for everybody else, um, we've got a couple webinars coming up. Uh, February 19th, we've got Butterfly Designs with uh, Kathy Vergara. February 24th, we have Speed Painting with Darcy McHenry. We have uh, Kristen Olson at um, 5 p.m. instead of the usual 6 p.m. Um, uh, for on-the-job designs. And we have uh, Simona Rad um, doing some amazing unicorns. And uh, Pam Kinneberg is going to do this on March 30th uh, for Easter designs. And here's a list of all our upcoming webinars. So now I will add some glitter. I uh, usually I'm using uh, professional glitter, mm -hmm. uh, makeup forever, or uh, uh, I just some professional glitter. So if you don't have so much time and you want to finish your design, just add, add glitter. But be very careful with the uh, eye area, and if you are working with the children, do not apply glitter in the eye area. No. The after glitter there, I will add some dots. So just white dots on the black strokes. It give very, very professional look to your design. Some dots, some eyes, uh, some uh, stars. I'm just adding some dots. 
I will add some pictures. My outlining to we will know our nose. So we can put this one to our eye area. And pigments, dry pigments from the makeup palette. Mm -hmm. And our tiger is almost ready. That's a pretty good looking tiger. Oh, really? It's a great tiger. Well done. It's a great design. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to hear. So open your eyes, Natalie. And now it's a part, uh, most important part of today's class. It's a part of my face painting credit. It's a wow effect. So Natalie, here is your mirror. And now you will see the action of Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what I what I call wow effect. Model not expected, and the model is really really excited. So I hope guys you enjoyed. I hope you learned something interesting. If you will practice fantasy tigers and uh, tag me, I will be very very happy. So okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, for this great opportunity to show my art to such a big audience. And I hope I see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye, Inga. Bye-bye, Natalia. That was fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And just to remind you, we have that coupon code TIGER10 should you need face paint for the next 24 hours, anyway. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.